What was that? What was that? Yet another terrible, gutless display by Chelsea against a mid-table team. Shocking. Welcome to the match review of Southampton 2, Chelsea 1. Welcome to the Burton Ballers. Ain't got no time for no stallers. Yeah. We are the risers. We're not the fallers. Our channel is growing wider and taller. Yeah. We're here to give you the news about your dear beloved blues. Yeah. So if you like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe and turn on that bell. Yeah. Oh dear, that's, again, we've done it again. Um, I said in my score prediction, we're going to probably get a bad Southampton and a good Chelsea, but oh boy, was I wrong. It was the other way around. We got a good Southampton and a poor Chelsea. Um, two inconsistent teams usually, but Southampton kids, two, Chelsea won. I'll say that again, Southampton kids, two, Chelsea won. I'm not being disrespectful, but... Um, have you ever heard of half these Southampton players I've never heard of and I'm not being disrespectful to, to Southampton they've got a new team lots of kids in there but they showed more fight than Chelsea did today that leads me on to my first talking point of the day um, Chelsea will struggle to finish in the top four on this show we're too inconsistent you know there's a lot of people were writing Chelsea off for top four I said don't be silly Chelsea will finish top four but on today's show in the showing against Leeds we can't be putting in these performances every other game and expect to be finishing top four you know the, the likes of Arsenal and Tottenham um, they are showing I know it's early in the season but they're showing that sort of consistency we are just um, terrible at the minute you know there's, there's, there's no fight in this team. This team is awful. And what the, the thing I don't like about this team is I knew I knew the script. I knew the script. As soon as they went 2-1 up at half-time, I said game over. Same as against Leeds. You know, the team goes up. We, got, we haven't got a fighting spirit. Look at Man City. Three times now they've come back from two goals behind. But we can't do it. We've got, that's so, we've got no heart. We've got no fight in the team. Two goals down and it's game over. Not one chance created in the second half. The goalkeeper made one save from a bro header, but that was going wide anyway. Where the team was chasing, Southampton toyed with us. The only time we kind of got a little foothold in the game was in the last um, 10 minutes. That's when Southampton were trying to hold on to their lead, lead and drop him back. But still, we didn't carve out a decent opening. Shocking. It's not good enough. I'm sorry. So that leads me on to my second talking point. As for the Quetta, why didn't we send it to Barcelona when he wanted to? He's a shadow of himself, you know. I don't, know. I don't want to disrespect him because he's been a great servant for us. But sometimes you look at a player and think, you know what, his time is up. And I called it a few months ago and I said to you, ready? I, I could see it turn out to be another Ivanovic situation where you just see the sad demise of a player. We saw that a little bit with Marseille Desailly as well. When, um, for those who remember, you know, is 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 bad drop in form when he got a bit older and this is the same with Asper Lequeta. he can't defend he can't attack without Reese James we're nothing down that right hand side so um, I'd have got rid of him got to get rid and buy buying somebody else but this he's just taking up a space in the team now and he's just becoming a weak link in that defence and then so going on to um, talking point three Mount needs to be dropped now. It's, I've had enough of Mason Mount. He's put in some four poor. What, what does this boy need to do to be not to be left out the side? You know, he's been put, okay, tactically good against Tottenham. I'll give him that, but he's not creating anything. He's just not. He just looks lethargic. He's got no fight in him at the minute. And it was him who lost the ball that led to the first goal. You know, no, these Southampton guys are kids, but yeah, they show a lot of fight and they're bullying us. In, in that middle of the park. We were weak in there. You know, we went with a 4-3-3. It didn't make any difference because he wasn't showing up at all. And so he needs to be not, he needs to be um, out of the team now. You can't be picking guys on favourites for what they did last season. This guy needs to be dropped. And so talking about midfield, Jorginho, on to point four. Jorginho, Jorginho's a liability. You know, that's why when we play a back, people say, oh yeah, Chelsea's going to revert to a back four. We can't play a back four with this guy in the back. He's terrible in, in the midfield, sort of, as a holding midfielder. Even that, okay, the first mistake was from Mason Mount, but then he made three vital mistakes. First of all, he comes out when he should have told Loftus-Cheek to shuffle along so he could have held his position. He comes 
easily brushed aside, no pace or physicality to, to run back. And he was not bursting a gut to get back into the middle. He was just strolling. And so if he did burst a gut and get back, he could have been the one marking um, Armstrong. He knocked, in the, he knocked in the winning goal. But no, he was strolling. I'm not sure if he didn't have the desire or the speed or whatever. But he is a liability in, in, uh, as a holding midfielder. And we are, that's why we have to compensate for him by playing the five in the back. Because he's, you know, when is Thomas Tuchel going to realise that he needs a bit of physicality in the middle of the park? Because there's nothing there at the minute. Um, so um, going on to talking point five. Kai Havertz, wonder boy Kai Havertz. Where's this wonder boy status? What am I seeing from him? I'm seeing nothing from this boy. I'm sorry. This guy is not um, creating anything. He had a weak header. The ball came across. He's got to do better with that header. He's, he's, you know, he's running the channels okay-ish, but he doesn't impose himself. We've got nobody, no focal point in there for a, a striker. And... He's not, a, he's not a nine, I'm sorry. You know, if we're going to be playing him, he's got to be playing in a different position. I said it before, at the start of the season, I'm saying it again. If he remains our, our, our striker for the duration of the season, then you know what? I'm saying we could kiss top four behind. We're not even getting into the top half of the season if, if this guy's leading our line at, you know, for the rest of the season. And that's not a reaction either. And finally, point six, as Thomas Tuchel lost the dressing room. These guys don't look like they're playing for him. These guys don't have the desire. They don't. They don't look like they. they we look a shambles. You know what was the tactics today? Because someone tell me in the comments what was the tactics? Because I don't know what the tactics were. You know the, the, we couldn't string two passes together. We we haven't looked at the only game we've played well where we looked like a unit is against Tottenham apart from that the other four games we've looked awful I'm sorry okay Leicester we showed a bit of fight um, to go down to 10 men so you can't really use that as a barometer but even when we beat Leeds we looked awful we looked shocking against um, Leeds sorry against Leicester sorry we went down I'm getting confused myself yeah against Everton sorry we, we didn't look great although we won that game um, against Leeds we were shocking and today we were just shocking we were terrible you know and it just does doesn't look like they got the fight. Do Pele's players even want to be there? Does Ziyech played okay today in the first half? Second half, he was anonymous, but does he want to be there? Pulisic looks like a man who was just brain dead. I think he was, I don't know what, he was, he was trying to prove a point or something. Okay, he's playing out of position of the wing back, but he was, I don't know what he was doing today. He just kept trying to dribble in ridiculous places, got beat off, the, he showed his frustration, kicking out a couple of times. Doesn't look like a happy man at all. Um, even Sterling was frustrated in that second half. But nobody no, nobody looks like they, they know what they're doing in this team. It just looks like a shambles. And that's got to go down to the manager. The manager's got to get these guys playing. He's got to get them playing as, as a unit. He's got to, to get the, the players' head screwed on. You know, this is partly his team now. We've got Cucurello in there. We've got... Um, Cooley Bally in there. We've got Sterling in there. So this is this is his team. We're seeing as his team coming. Obviously, we got um, we're going to see what happens when Fafana comes in. Hopefully, you can shore out the defence a bit, um, but um, and see if there's anyone else coming in. But at the moment, you know, we, with his players in, we're not even we're looking worse than last season, not better. So I don't know what's going on there. You know, it's not it's not great, guys. It's not great at all. Um, so I've resigned myself for, for us not finishing top four this season because you know we can't up and down performances. We're, we ain't finishing top four at all. So um, it, if we do, it's a bonus. But I, you know, I just can't see it unless we sort something out real sharpish and start to, to play as a unit. Because what I saw out there and against Leeds, it's not. It's the manual to the, the, the defeats. That, that, that it's not even the fact that we the loss of the games. Like I said it's just the manner of how we're losing this and the body language of the players. It's it's not looking good. I don't like it at the minute. So what do you think, guys? Stick your comments in the section below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you'll be notified every time I make a new video. Take care. Bye. -bye.